It is absolutely gorgeous around here. Temperatures in the 70s, low humidity. We're watching a few scattered rain showers, though, working their way in from the west, and they are still holding their own and having a little bit of a thunderstorm activity in there, but I believe they're going to start falling apart once they get to Madison. We could see an isolated shower uh, near Lake Mills, maybe Watertown and Waterloo, but that should be it. We're seeing a few clouds from those. Otherwise, it's been very nice today. Hurricane Isaac, yes, it is a hurricane, a Category 1 with 80 mile per hour sustained winds gusting to 100. Should make its way, the center that is, to land sometime after midnight tonight. They're already starting to see some of the effects, though, from Mobile to Biloxi to New Orleans as we speak. Back here at home, completely different. Just a few clouds from those showers off to the west. Otherwise, a nice blue sky and the temperature, a comfortable 73 degrees. With that easterly wind, the dew points are up to around 58 degrees, so humidity at 59%. Low to mid 70s, pretty common, except for a couple spots from Beaver Dam to Whitewater in the lower 80s. We had that easterly breeze today. We knew it was going to be cooler than yesterday. It was 86 yesterday. Today's high was only in the mid 70s. Tonight we drop back into the upper 50s to lower 60s. A light southeasterly breeze. Could see some patchy fog from Burlington down to Lake Geneva, maybe out towards Whitewater. The rest of us should just see a few clouds overnight. Then tomorrow, more of a southerly wind to start the day off. We'll get back into the low to mid 80s. Could even see some upper 80s inland and then cooler at the lake as that southeast wind kicks in at 5 to 10. High pressure continue to dominate our weather. We'll see no rain until it looks like maybe Friday night and Saturday, and that is from the remnants of Isaac. So for tonight, 62 degrees, another comfortable night, upper 50s in Waukesha and further inland. 82 tomorrow, becoming a little bit cooler at the lakefront and near 90 in the inland sections. If you don't hit 90 tomorrow inland, you'll definitely hit it on Thursday, a high of 90, Friday 91, and then some showers on Saturday. We're back after this.